Who Live. Our first guest is an actor, an author, and a singer. She has been immortalized in the works of countless great artists, but she's probably remembered most as being Andy Warhol's last superstar. Welcome the great Hollywood Lawn. Hello, hi. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Hello. We've got you something to drink. You're not feeling well. Sure. Yeah, we're sauce. 51 proof. 51 proof. <laughs> right. Anyway, <laughs> what a pleasure to be here. You, we're both dying we're both, together. Yes, I woke up sick. this morning and, and uh, the phone rang and I went, <laughs> And is it, you know, you've got some you of your voice back. back now. No, you just let me know if you need a Kleenex. Don't put your used ones on top of the other ones. I'm what sorry. did we talk about? I didn't come here for one of these tears. Yes. <laughs> I do to this. I have to call my agent. I love your uh, your set. It's oh, thank so, you. It's so natural. It is natural. And we've got you know, trees up yeah, and Christmas and everything. It's so. fabulous. I'm Honey, sure I'd... we've got a, a, a menorah somewhere. Well, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, how did you I meet? Have yes. Uh, oh well, I'll make one later. How did you meet Andy Warhol? Oh, my goodness. There you go. <laughs> Take two. It's Christmas. It's free. It's free. Uh, well, I met Andy, you know, in one of his famous dull, boring parties. Honey, you think um, Hollywood parties are dull? They are dull. You know, nothing ever happened. Well, you know, Andy always, you know, the factory, it, that's what we called his... Um, his, his, his factory, yeah. where he did all his artwork, his movies, right. everything was done there. And that's the first place you met him was at the factory. Yeah. yeah. And, and it was not, and you, it wasn't that exciting. It was later on where the, you know, where the, the monumental meeting, you know, was right. when, uh, uh, well, in the interim, I had been hanging out in this place called Max Kansas City, where you know all the uh, <clears throat> superstars, but yeah. you know not only the Warhol <laughs> superstars, but you know like Janis Joplin, Jim Jim Morrison, you know. What did it mean to be an Andy Warhol superstar? What did that mean? Oh, it's just meant to be in his movie, and his movie were you know, <laughs> you know, his movies were like trash, and you know, like the movie that I was in, you know, what a time apropos. <laughs> but uh, no, what. Uh, you know, where most movies had, you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and a story. Uh huh. And, you know, and the camera person knew how to, like, work the camera. You know? Right. right. And, and a lot of movies have scripts, but this did not oh, trash. It was completely. Script. You make, that? made everything up on, on the, as you yeah, went. Yeah, it was totally improvised. Yeah. You know, there was no such thing as script. Uh, <clears throat> and the camera was a little 16 year old thing. And you had to, <laughs> not a boy. You know, no, you know, 16 millimeters. No, I mean, 16 year old. <laughs> what did I say? 16 year old. <laughs> 16 year old. <laughs> well, Girl, <laughs> nobody talks faster than you. I'd hate to be your typist. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fabulous. I think it's the medication I just took. Um, it I thought it was mine. Oh, no. Well, the underground, the underground movement, how do you think that that affected art in America at that time? Well, uh, well, first of all, there was, you know, I mean, there was no such thing like it. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, as far as everyone was concerned, art was like, you know, People look like people, except for Picasso. He got away with, you know. Right. You know, the nose and everything. <laughs> <clears throat> but even he started where people look like you. Um, but, the, you know, just the fact that, you know, like um, the repetition, it was unheard of. And, you know, and, and basically, you know, uh, they needed some kind of new movement and the, uh, the underground pop art music. Because Andy was not the first one. You know, there were others before him right. that were even bigger. But what where Andy was um, famous for uh, was the fact that he collected people. Right. You know, right. He collected, um, you know... You said he was a black hole <laughs> of, 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 of... Basically, he was a black... Not yeah, a Chinese star, the, the, what do you call it? That, people, he was, that, right. that, uh, that creative people was, were drawn to him. And exactly, that were sucked in by yeah. him. Black hole. <laughs> So you just said, you just said, mentioned, vortex. Uh, vortex, vortex is a, is a good vortex, word. Vortex, that's the right word. You just mentioned the underground. <laughs> what exactly was the underground? And do you think there's an underground that exists today? And if so, where is it? Because no one tells me there anything. Is I want to go. No, well, uh, well, the thing is, bless you. Oh, God. Oh. Um, <laughs> I just took antibiotics. You know, I mean, major killer. Things. Well, I'll be taking them probably shortly after the show. Oh, honey, you know, <laughs> so, the thing is, I never get sick. I, no. You know, if I, if I sneeze, you know. Yeah. But this morning, it was like I was hit by a Mack truck. Oh. <clears throat> but anyway, back but to the your question. Yeah, oh, baby. The underground. All my friends are calling me. I'm saying, oh, I'm dying. I said, oh, you know, take, some, take a pill. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> go, go to the liquor store. Pill fixes pretty much everything, don't you find? Uh, what, liquor? A pill. A pill? Uh, yeah, please. Hey, uh, I'm taking oxy, uh, 
Con, 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 <laughs> oxy, oxymoron? Oh. Oxycontin? It's, it's, it's a form oxy. of heroin, I think. Oxycontin, isn't it? It's a pill. Oxycontin, pill form yeah, heroin. Oxycontin, yeah, yeah, Oxycontin. Well, it's wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think well, no, but my doctor prescribes them to me, and I had no idea, you know, so I took one, and, you know, 15 minutes later, I was on the phone to everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, okay. Little, 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 we just have to take a short break, but when we come back, I'm going to ask you what you do with that beer bottle in a trash when we oh, come back. Because I do react. Remember the answer to your last <laughs> Okay, we've got more Hollywood Lawn when we come back. Stick around. We're back with underground legend Holly Woodlawn. During our break, we lost Oscar Weber. She passed away. But, but I'm here. But we've got Joe, who is, uh, our, well, he's going to fill in for uh, Saskia while she's She's got uh, some big shoes for me to fill. Yes. She's a little under the weather. So I was, I, I teased, <laughs> she's a little under the weather. I teased, Don't make me laugh. I won't laugh. I won't make you laugh, but I teased the audience with your famous scene out of the movie Trash that you starred in. You did something pretty amazing with a beer bottle. Okay, no, no, I'm blessing place. you, darling. Oh, bless thank you. Bless, you bless me. <laughs> you did something pretty famous with a beer bottle. Uh, how did you prepare for the scene? I'm a method actor. Oh, <laughs> of course. Joe came in. Okay, no, oh, well, back to, you know, we, there is no such thing as a script. Yes. So we had, you know, we had a, a, a you know, a, a break for lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ha, 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 yeah. Ha, you know, caterers. And that's where they came up with called it. called the 7-Eleven down the block. Uh -huh. But anyway, um... So Joe came in with um, a bottle of beer, uh -huh. and, and Joe, in, in his, you know, in his, you know, all his splendor. All see, his... Uh, this will be the mill mine. Went, ah, I have an idea for a shot. <clears throat> now it's my turn. She left her. <laughs> uh, Holly, why don't you take this beer bottle and, you know, and pleasure <clears throat> yourself and do, you know, that. I went, oh, copulate. Oh, I don't do that. Yeah, and. But then you thought, you know what? It's good for the scene. It moves the story along, and you did it. And you did it. And you did it all the way. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, to the point where they, they, you know, they actually tried to nominate me for an Academy Award. <laughs> and for that scene. <clears throat> for for her role, she was amazing in the film. No, and just George, the whole thing. George yeah. Kukor had such a lot to do with really rallying for you to get she, that yeah. nomination. Because uh, at, the, at that point, like you said, what is an underground film? What's the difference, you know? Uh, you know, there's the studio film, which is MGM, you know, them. Right, right, right. <laughs> which at that time, they ruled. Yes. And uh, trash, trash, you know, Oh, mainly all those movies, uh, there was no difference between independent or 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 low life. <laughs> that's that's the title of my book. Um, you know, we'll talk about that in a minute. Underground. underground, right? You got it. You got it. You know. So anyway, um, so since George Cougar was such a big name yes. in in the business, yes. you know, and he actually you know got all these actors and and directors and all that stuff to sign this petition. The only problem was that uh, there was no. Um, Category, and you know what category would they put me under? Right. Best supporting actor, actress, he and she, you know, whatever. Right. You know, I would have won because there was no other at the time. You know, trash really changed the way Hollywood it, and and people viewed movies. It changed it, the whole idea, and it, it changed, you know. And then the year after that, then like five easy pieces, and all the first it was independent. Right. You know, and then, and then so you wrote a book, um, My Low Life and no, High Heels. All Low Life all and low High Heels. Life. Yeah, after I moved here, you know, my, my friend. You, said, yes, you, you made after your venture. Andy died, and then after You Andy, got out of New York, Warhol you're like, there's no reason to, you know, stick around. You're like, I'm going to, you know, Warhol change died. the scenery. It was the end of an era. Right. You know, it all ended once he died. There was nothing to do, nothing else. I mean, what? how can you top that? So you, you come to Los Angeles. I, I imagine, you know, I picture you on a beach. <laughs> On a beach with a scarf and wind blowing through your hair, good writing imagination. your book. <laughs> Did you write your book on a beach? No, no. Actually, um, 
It was well, a Macintosh. It oh, <laughs> actually was. <laughs> oh, oh, well. The thing is, I, I didn't write it because, you know, I'm still in the Neanderthal level. I haven't, I haven't joined the 21st century. My producer keeps saying, oh. cover it up, cover it up. No news to me. Uh, but well, anyway. the boys can let it hang out over there, but... Oh, we just, yeah, just like a little bit more nudity. together. Oh. See? <laughs> no, there we go. <laughs> oh, Did you get your rocks off, Woody? Oh. But anyway, honey, it's about time. Oh, but, I know um, Let's, just, so, let's go yeah, back. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. I'm, uh, to the beginning. I'm, I'm How the did you get the name? name? Holly um, Woodlawn. I, well, I got Holly from, you know, everybody's favorite movie, Holly Go Lightly Breakfast at Tiffany's. It is one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. And I hated the name, <clears throat> excuse me, that I was uh, born with. Right. Harold. Yeah, that's all right. I'm very open. Uh, well, just read the book. You know, I, the only thing I don't open is my zipper, but everybody knows I think this one. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along. <clears throat> and the Go Lightly. Excuse me. Came from uh, no, not the Woodlawn. Came from the Woodlawn Cemetery, right? Okay. Because you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, <clears throat> at that time we were all doing uh, drugs. Everybody, was, you know, was doing drugs at that right. time. When it was good drugs when it was legal. Not legal, but you know, you can go to your doctor. They weren't being made in someone's bathtub. In their yeah. toilets, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and the whole, or RV. Because that's the kind of stuff we're getting. Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh that look at us. Crazy. Mm, <laughs> that garbage. Ah! No, no, Chardonnay is about as deep as I get. Speaking of deep. <laughs> I love it. Um, I guess we have to take another short um, little break. Um, but we'll be back in a moment Just with a short more. One. Yeah, because I was on that thing, I was on that thing with Madonna, Holly deeper and deeper. Yeah, that can, you know, right after this, stick around, stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. Please, lights, come on. Welcome back to On Q Live. We're back with underground legend Holly Woodlawn. We were talking about your book, A Low Life in High Heels, before we went to the break, and it was going to be made into a movie. It's been, and you've been going on, this has been going on for quite a while. Tell us about it. Oh, God, I've been shopping this movie, uh, well, the, the idea of the book, uh, since it came out in 1991. It, well, first of all, it started with uh, <clears throat> my friend Howard Roseman. Right. And he, he took it to Madonna. Right. Who wanted to play, uh, because it's about she Candy, wanted to play Candy Jackie Darling. and I. Mm -hmm. She wanted to play Candy Darling. And we came <clears throat> this close to signing the, the thing. But then something happened, you know, welcome to, the, <laughs> to Hollywood. Right. And so that deal fell apart because Harvey Firestein was supposed to write the screenplay. Yes. Then, then, we, then, of course, we did our, you know, schlepping. And we took it to everybody. Everyone in this town knows about that book. And, and, and it being done at one time or, or another. A matter of fact, at one point, uh, Robert De Niro, who's a very close friend of mine, well, we gave him his first job in the theater, uh -huh. Candy, Jackie, and I. Oh my gosh! In, in uh, La, uh, La Mama, no La Mama, Cafe Chino, who knows? One of those. So, so you, will we be seeing the movie? I mean, I mean, you, I you, a clip. how long before you get? You're going to be able to get? Oh, it made? the movie, my the movie, movie, my movie soon, my love soon, because yeah, we're talking right now. We have two uh, directors that you know, one, one of them did this movie called uh, Going Into Seventeen or uh -huh. something. Go, oh, six, going on 16, something going like Going on 30? 17 going on 17. 30 or something? Well, edge of 17. Oh, the edge of 17. Yeah, that. And then the other one is, uh, he directed um, it's like uh, Studio. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, let's, let's take a look yeah, at the clip. I, you brought oh, yeah, the, I, oh, yeah, your... the, the, Let me introduce. The, okay, this yes. clip is from uh, the limelight. And this is the, like, you know, uh, in between gigs, we need to work. And there was this uh, 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 church that's turned, that turned into a uh, club called the limelight. Yes. And this is like, we used to, we formed a group called the, uh, uh, that has Dukes and Divas d uh, downtown. And if, uh, everyone, you know, would get up and sing a song. And I came out doing this. Oh, I love it. Let's see. Let's take a look. All right. <clears throat>
<laughs> Fantastic. That was cool. Loved it. That dress is gorgeous. Let Thank me borrow you, it sometime. That's plastic. fun. It's a fun it's holiday a dress. Paco Robot. He was famous in the 60s. Beautiful. Wow. Um, so you've been immortalized in a song, Take a Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. Reed and Lou Reed song. was a very close friend of yours. Yeah. What is you it know, like? As a matter of fact, after the song came out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Lou is fabulous. As a matter of fact, he's, he's going to be, you know, very highly involved in my movie. Yes. Walk on the Wild Side. Hopefully doing the soundtrack. Actually, we, we're going to rename it because everyone knows about Walk on the Wild Side. Right. Yeah. But uh, Low Life and High Heels, you know, I've been pushing that. You know, so I'm not going to, you know, it's my baby. Yes. Yeah. Like Walk on the Wild Side is his. Yeah. Know? But uh, he's doing the soundtrack <clears throat> along with a, 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 a couple other immortals. It's like really, you know, until... <laughs> La Plume reaches Le Contract. I don't talk. I know nothing. <laughs> now, t sing. Can you sing for us the the, the little part I that you? I can, honey. That's why I but, brought that because I got laryngitis. But it's little Holly. Oh it's, no, not little. Uh, um, left. <clears throat> no, Holly came from Miami, FLA. FLA. And so hitchhiked across. Do you want me to sing it or not? You want? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we don't want. You know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. He wanted up, up, up. Well, I, what I want to know is Energy. why did you leave Florida and head for New York, <clears throat> honey? If you lived in Florida, you'd understand why. <laughs> I, was, I, I was. I was. 16. I lived in uh, in Miami, the northern part, where you know that's where the word redneck <laughs> eventually that's where it, it started, born. and yeah. then it went on to Georgia and up north and up to the west. That's true. Um, now, tell me about um, Andy Warhol's funeral. What was that like going Oh, the funeral. That? Well, it was amazing. First of all, it took place uh, at the, um, at the uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Right. Well, it's like, you know, with Diana, you know, it's on that level. Take us back to the day. Well, oh, what a wonderful day it was. Anyway, yeah. um, it was not the funeral, actually. It was his memorial. Every time you do that, I'm going to do this thinking that, you know... It works. <laughs> That's exactly why I was doing it. Oh. No, it's fun. It's perfect. You're gorgeous. Okay. okay. So anyway, um... You walk in, yeah, someone's yeah, giving Yeah, it was 10.30 in the morning, and I'm thinking, you know, I, I was born... I'm, I'm Jewish, but I was also raised Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, and... Uh, uh, so, you know, I went in a suit. And I looked very wholesome. Yeah. Middle America. Yeah. Blah. But anyway... Um, Yoko Ono is doing the eulogy, right? And I'm sitting in the back. I, you know, I, I didn't want to sit in the VIP. You know, to me these things are, you know, you're supposed so, to, it's supposed to be sacred. You know, of course. So yes. anyway, she, you know, she's up there, and I'm sitting next to this woman, and she's like, <laughs> and I'm going, oh my God, listen, did you can't understand the words. <laughs> and you gave her your handkerchief. So this woman is like sobbing. There's a poor little baby, you know, and she, <laughs> and it turns out she was doing coke. Oh. I said, wait a minute, you know, even. I, who have sunk to the lower levels of depravity. Thank you. Can we <laughs> have to take a break. On um, That was a perfect note to leave on. Uh, oh, depravity? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, coming up next, on Cue Library Church with sassy actor Pat Pratty Bristow after the break. Oh, I love... Okay. No, that's a perfect ending, you know.